Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number 20 is going to have to play a major role if they want to be victorious tonight. This youngster is an offensive machine. He's got a nice jumper and isn't afraid to go hard to the rack. The Hoosiers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Hoosiers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First of all, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Second of all, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. And finally, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The ball goes out of bounds. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Thinks about the shot. He goes with a jump hook, and in and out. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He attempts the three, it sticks. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Drains it. Down inside. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Bed the low block. Stolen ball. He'll regroup the offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The power forward gets the ball. He dials long distance. He buries the shot. Keeps the dribble as they reset. There he is, strips the ball loose. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Looking for a good shot. Pruitt handles the pass. He unloads. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Gann is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Harvey handles the feed. Looking for the foul. The land. Trying to pack it inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Now trying to feed the low block. He strips him clean. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Trying to feed the low block. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? The center takes the pass. There they come with a double team to stop it. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That's an 8 nothing run. Go into the low block. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Hobbs is feeling good. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. The Boilermakers will step to the line for the first time. Routine. That's 11 unanswered. ready to start again. On the inside. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here they come now on a turnover. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Purdue are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. But they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Hobbs receives the ball. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that spacing. Nelson picks up the foul. First personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul at all. Look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Chance for two. He missed it. Gets the second shot. They scored 14 in a row.
Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. They'll work it around the arc. The Boilermakers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. And a momentary look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. Pruitt receives the pass from left of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. He rejects it. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Gave it up. He intercepts it. The point guard takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The center with the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. the dribble gives it up with anticipation defensively pushes it up the skip pass is picked off gave it up that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot the Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple in the paint Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Harvey comes up with it. Jumps into the defender. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The power forward gets the pass. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the inside. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. High post flasher is open. Another turnover. And they're not talking out for turnovers either. Purdue are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Right? 
turns it over. Working it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two, what should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. On the outside, and a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Now the high screen. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. <laughs> Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. The frustration right there. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And now there's a whistle and a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. Here's a flash from the high post. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Tap the bucket and the foul. He made a statement in that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. The Hoosiers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Hits that one. Takes the pass in the paint. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Perfectly executed. Boy, terrible execution on offense.
dribble, gives it up, picked off. Stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's bluffing, baby. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. From three-point land. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Goes up for two. They still don't score. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. Stop and pop. Makes it. Number 14 with the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He shoots from the top of the circle. Hey, let me tell you, he earned that trifecta. He earned it. Give him a hug. He earned that, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. They work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. It's stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Look at that spacing. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact.
Let's get back to the action. They work it around the perimeter with the bomb. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Hoosiers are trailing by 14. has not shown his usual productivity on offense. But you know what, Brad? He's still having a decent game. What's more important is for the rest of the team to pick up the slack in the second half. Second half, Deck, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. screen Ooh, look at the shot block we got some contact nice hops here he is defensively and this is going to be an academy award dick absolutely academy award at its best Pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The fake. Turnaround jumper. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Top of the snakes the block. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For the bucket. In and out. Puts it up. Looking for contact. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. Not allowing him to make that turn. Jumped in front to take it away. He gets the rejection. Pruitt, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. He is going to the line. He hits it. That's a 7 nothing run. Side for two, buried it. He fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Indiana are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. He uses the shot fake. He throws it up from downtown. It's good. Tries for two, and he missed. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Unloads a three. You bet you. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. From downtown, sinks the shot. Fakes the shot. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player gets up to make the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Great shot. They work it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Double team now, bad angle. Good job defensively. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Great block shot. He gets the shot to fall. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. With the jump hook, he is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Entry pass in the paint. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Gant steps to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. Indiana is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Throws go. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. The Hoosiers are down by four. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Here's a double team. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Intercepted for two. He gets the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. 
open inside. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Up and inside. Top of the circle. Sinks it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's the fake. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough, and a great reaction by the defensive post player. And a momentary look from three-point land. Defense, but a great job of executing the backdoor cut. Great hops on the alley oop. He looks at the hoop and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, the bench seems pretty confused down here. There is a lot of encouragement from his teammates, but they haven't found a way to get him going. And in order to hold on to this lead, they need to find a way and fast. They work it back to the outside. From the top of the circle, the Boilermakers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. On the outside, he goes for three. Way off target. Number 23 is trying to get the crowd pumped up. You know, Brad, he wants the fans backing for this defensive possession. He shoots from right of the circle. It's no good. left of the circle. Indiana have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. On the outside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Go, go. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Jumps in. Up. Easy one. turnover goes up for two perfectly executed oh, 
Got a coach. nice green. The Boilermakers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He looks for the bomb. There was no doubt about that one. They scored seven in a row. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. They get that rejected. The point guard takes the feed. Nice fake. Fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Off the rim and no good. Fakes a jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes the board. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Student body, they are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He nails the shot. Comes away with it. They get it out into transition. There's a slam. Looking for a good shot. Pump fakes. Kicks it out. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Down in the low close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. On the dribble, gives it up. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Looking for a good shot. Step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He fires from long range. Way off target. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Now check him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Up and inside. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. 
He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. On the dribble, gives it up. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He's money with the shot. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Gave it up on the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. He blocks the shot. He gets another shot off and in. And this show is about to start, Brad. Williams in the paint. Good fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him. He hammers it home. Working around the perimeter. Wait. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to get him to the spot. Cross court. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries to get the D to bite. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. He lets it go. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He looks for the bomb. It sticks. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. And back they come the other way. In the paint. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Indiana wins a game that was never really close. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along for Dick Vitale. And